over 70% of the Earth's crust is comprised of silica. And of course, we're all familiar with rocks and boulders and beach sand. But in addition to that, organisms like diatoms make these beautiful Baroque silica structures, starting from the basic building blocks of sand, silicic acid. Well, synthetic chemists are interested in doing the same game too. And we found that you could take this glycerol-derived silicone under hydrolysis conditions, salt gel chemistry, to make nothing as beautiful as nature, but to make these very open structures that arise because of the way in which the chemistry, the salt gel chemistry takes place with glycerol. You can see a zoom in here to see there's much more structure. However, that structure is lost once you cook it up, heat it to 60 to 600 degrees to degrade all of the uh, organic materials. We wondered if other templating materials like starch, for example, which other people have used, could be used as a template for silica. When you cook starch, of course, you get a solution. When you cool it down, as anybody knows who's taken last night's spaghetti out of the fridge, it has a different kind of structure. When we incorporated that cooked structure with the silicone, the glycerol silane, we ended up with a very unusual kind of pattern on the surface. There's both silica and starch in that matrix. That's lost if you heat it up to 600 degrees. If instead you use an enzyme, amylase, to degrade the unreacted starch and wash away silica particles inside, we ended up with these very unusual worm-like structures. After the second digestion, you can see that they're actually hollow on the inside. What we think that's arising from is a true templating effect. The DGS does chemistry on the surface of the starch, but it actually becomes an alkoxysilane. That material, which is something between organic or bioorganic and inorganic, is not digestible by the enzyme. And so we see the worm castings that are shown in the picture. I don't know that this is useful, but it's interesting because it demonstrates that we can change the properties of silica in a variety of ways in order to maintain or generate the structures that might be of interest. You can read more in this open access paper in materials. Thank you very much for your attention.